Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to ADG vs. Game. I got the ADG kids by my side, and that's all I'm going to say. You know how the channel goes. It's me beating my games. You got early content right now, thanks to Xseed. Um, so if you guys could, check out entertainment.com, Check out my reviews. Check out my For the First Time video over ADG Entertainment right here on YouTube. And if you like the stuff that I do, you may want to check out ADG Rouse Games Network. If you like that wrestling thing, baby. Spread them butt cheeks, baby. Anyway. Let's do this thing. I bask in the morning, warm to the summer sun, and head for Hanzo National Academy. Who's talking though? I think it's Oscar. It'll be Oscar. People tend to get sluggish as the weather warms, but this is the perfect temperature for me. That's because the sunlight is the source of my energy. The source of my chi. What? That was so cute! She can't keep herself from humming. What? And I was just talking about booty cheeks. I look up and notice I'm already at the school gate. Booty cheeks, booty cheeks, super booty cheeks. <laughs> Not the main gate, it's actually a rear gate. Make stupid for Shinobi students. Is that an egg sandwich? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, and we're gonna stop for a moment because I gotta explain some. Not only to Layla, but to you guys. And you caught the last tales of Asperia. Oh yeah. That we that we did. It taught us for the first time how to make recipes. And the sandwich that he made, that Yuri made, was an egg sandwich. Yes, he said that was a recipe. An egg, an egg sandwich. An egg sandwich. <laughs> and here goes this food with an egg sandwich. Is this a Japanese thing? Egg sandwiches? Egg sandwiches? Layla said they don't even have a. She get. It's not. It don't got two pieces of bread. It's a sandwich and it has two pieces of bread. It, it looks like. It's not a sandwich. That's French toast. <laughs> yeah, that's French toast. Without the syrup. The Chanel student class are kept well out of sight as your student body. Anyway. Uh, oh, oh, oh! There's someone calling in from behind. Who? Oh, boy in a baseball uniform. Uh, Layla, is that sexy? <laughs> no, no. His hair is buzzed short. His face is very tan. He must be at least six feet tall. Looking like Oscar. What? I mean, look, I mean, um, um, what did I say? What am I saying? I meant to say Oscar not. Ugh. This is my daughter likes Oscar. No doubt, he's seriously into sports. What? He stammers for a moment and winds up not saying anything at all. I'm kind of in a hurry. I don't want to stand by the rear gate forever. I love you. What? Huh? It's them booty cheeks! I'm kind of off guard. I have no idea how to react. Maybe cover your booty cheeks. I love you. Please go out with me. God. It's that pose. It's that pose. You've been standing there in that pose for about five minutes. Of course he's in love. No. He he drops his gaze into her. I can't see the neat little whorl of hair on the back of his head. And my face to respond, he turns and runs off like a scared rabbit. Mm -mm -mm. Scared of the bajiji. Dad. What was that all about? The booty shape. I check the clock and see it's time for her room to start. I sprint off for the ninja room. Ooh, it's a nice little ninja room. The entire morning passes in a blur. I love you. Please go out with me. No one's ever said anything like that to me before, except for Donovan Dows. Oh, oh God, I just said your whole name on the Oh, well, you say. Something's wrong, Asuka. Are you not going to eat your lunch? A bar appears at my face. I suddenly realize it's lunchtime. I'm just sitting here with my lunchbox, daydreaming. Is something happened? No, it's just a boy I don't know. Just told me he loves me. Everyone in the ninja room reacts as one. So much that they start on me. Details, I want the glory details. One thing I never understand is why they have scenes like this sometimes when they can just make the scenes like they do with 
their faces. Uh, I don't understand. That's wild. Maybe I don't know if it's saving space, but on PlayStation 4, they should have changed it for Rebirth. That's all I'm saying. Or Burst Renewal. Avoid it. I'd like to hear more too. As they bombard me with questions, I decided to go ahead and fill them in. This boy is a baseball player from another school, correct? Maybe UA Academy? Akuru speaks with calm assurance. I'm trying to be more like her in that regard. Hey, baseball player, nice. Maybe a future major player. Sounds like you got yourself a real catch, Asuka. Cat is almost trembling with enthusiasm. You think so? Someone else that wants to grab the boobs like me? Oh, hell yeah. I mean, the good luck keeping up with him unless you end up being a performer on a TV or now or something, but still, right? No. All I want is to be a Shinobi. I don't have any dreams of becoming a celebrity. Still in the face of Cat's unbridled incitement, I can't help but to give her a wry smile. Are you gay? Baseball's where they hit those really fast balls, right? Fastballs. A grin nods at Hibbert's question. Some pro baseball players are athletes on par with any shinobi. Oh wow, I bet they could use a sword to block shurikens then. As usual, Hibari's a little off the mark, but with her, it's always kind of cute. So what do you plan to do? Mute my mic so I can cough? Sorry about that, y'all. I'm back. Oh god, I skipped that entire thing. Anyway. Where's Shinobi? You must forget that. Yuki keeps her voice quiet and level. It's like she just splashed my mind with water. Peach, peach, splash! Okay. The ninja room bustling with activity only moments before it goes silent. It's so quiet now. Even Cat settles down. Layla hates it when it's quiet. Well, obviously. I don't have the time to spar for love. I want to be a shinobi and that's all. Really, I don't even know what's going what going out is or how you're supposed to do it. Wow. <laughs> Plus I don't know what kind of person that boy is. He may not be that kind of person I want to be around, let alone fall in love with. Layla is kinda of like the kids at your school. You be saying, Oh, they're going out together and I'll be like They're just in school, how they're going out. Alright, anyway. <laughs> Feeling much better, I pop open the lid of my lunchbox. Inside is my favorite futamaki rolls, making Layla hungry. Huff, huff, pant, pant. I carelessly roll on the mountain, eating rolls. Every morning I perform a personal training with these rolls. I'm still experienced in eating these rolls in training. I know where as strong as Cat is. I mean, just think about the way she grabs the boobs. Aku's much faster than I am. Yagi's technical mastery and Hibari's special espionage skills are superior to mine as well. And how long is this beginning gonna be? It's been about freaking seven minutes and we're still reading content. Since I'm not a fan of losing any to anyone, I'm always training as much as I can. Hmm. Give me some gameplay! I certainly sense another presence. Who's there? The boy from yesterday emerges from the woods. Again, he's wearing his baseball uniform. Run! <laughs> huh. What are you doing here? You don't know this dude. He's a stranger. He's stalking. I can ask you the same thing. Don't tell me you're a stalker. Say. Stalker. 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 He shakes his head in a sudden panic. I was at the. I was at Van Pan. Now I'm retrieving balls. They don't sound right, cuz coming from a stalker. By yourself? Yes, it's my personal training. Personal training? Just like me? I think, but don't say. I want to practice more than anyone. Baseball is really special to me. To practice more than anyone. I want to tell him I know how, he, how that feels. I still glance at his face. Even though he's drenched in sweat, he still looks full of energy. And it's starting to sound like a Ramon porno. He's actually kind of cool. I feel myself begin to blush and quickly look away. My name's Suzuki. Can I ask your name? Suzuki, you even know my name? And you told me you love me. I have to admit, I'm a, I'm being a little mean. 
Suzuki quickly watches pumps. No, I, uh, it's like love at first light. Sight. Plus, your booty cheeks was out. Uh, I'm Asuka. It's nice to meet you. I smile at him and he lets out a huge sigh. Asuka. I know this is kind of awkward, but it's okay. I'd like to ask you something. Explain what. Would you be willing to go out with me? I lose all my words and I fall utterly silent. All I can hear are the birds in the wind. If you guys never watched the Simon Kungar game before, I had, I had to tell you, there is gameplay in this. This is not one of those visual novels. But it just seems like it right now. I'm just bothering you, aren't I? I mean, I get it. I'm a total stranger. Suzuki smiles bitterly and scratches his head. But at least we're introduced now, right? Listen, we've got a game this coming weekend. If you feel to it, you're welcome to come. I found myself looking straight into his eyes. His pure, honest eyes. Would it be okay to see his game? Aku and Yagu wouldn't be too upset about it, I wouldn't think. I realize that I'm still hesitating. So Luke lowers his head slightly and starts jogging down the mountain. His back is broad and manly. Right? <laughs> I don't know what's going on lately. This is the longest so far. Right as morning classes in, the door to the ninja room flies open. And that does give me a chance to tell you guys that are maybe watching to watch that video for the first time on Edgy Entertainment. There's plenty of gameplay on that one. Um, but I'm sure this mission is going to have gameplay before it ends. It's just a long story for some reason. The sushi chef burst in laughing loudly. It's my very dear grandpa, Hanzo. Grandpa! The perverted grandpa's here. He's perverted. If you watch the anime, you know he's perverted. Hey, Oscar, showing them what you're made of, are you? Master Hanzo, it's been quite some time. Master Kuria bows deeply. Enough of that, Kuria. I'm long retired. My grandpa's known as a legendary shinobi and... Bump cheap program, baby! Boy. Before he retired, he was apparently amazing. Rumor has it that Hanzo Academy is actually named after him, even though no civilian knows anything about his legend. And that's a good thing. We protect others from shadows, and we do it with no expectation of gratitude. I think that's the battle for justice is all about. I love to be a Shinobi of Grandpa's caliber. That's been my dream since I was little. What brings you here, Grandpa? I thought I'd make lunch for everyone. That. He unties the cloth wrapper. The smell of rice vinegar greets our soup. Woohoo, sushi! Yeah, sushi! Habari literally jumps for joy. Cute little Habari. Everyone quickly gathers around Grandpa. My parents run a sushi restaurant. It's managed by both of them, plus Grandpa. Business is tough, but the regular customers must make up for it. Here you go, Grandpa's special Futsumaki rolls. Here, Asta, pass these out, would you? I take the sushi bucket from him and go around handling the rolls out in the morning. Rolls, sweet rolls. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm. 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 They look delicious. It's thick, but I bet I can handle all of it. Here goes Chomp. Mmm, delicious. As everyone cheerfully stuffs Futsumaki rolls into their mouths, Grandpa smiles and motions me over. What is it? I hear your thoughts have turned to love of late. Did others tell him? No, they wouldn't have just blurted this out. So how did he know about the boy? After thinking about it, it hits me. Grandpa is a legendary Shinobi. No one can hide secrets from him, especially not his own granddaughter. It's not like I'm really in love or anything. Oscar, have you ever heard about how your parents met? I shake my head. He loves his voice to whisper and tells me the story. Dad was a law student at a famous university. Apparently he fell in love with a Shinobi student mom at first sight. And I'm tired of staying story. Give me some action. Grandpa objected to the date in them course. But Dad refused to give up and got into an endless series of arguments and grandpa in the process. Even though anime is all about a bunch of little stories to make you care more about the So how, how come you gave in and let them see each other? Your father gave up his room of being a lawyer and said he wanted to open up a sushi restaurant with me. 
He said he didn't need dreams or money if he could only be with the woman he loves. And that's what he told me. Oh. How sweet! I never dreamed that that was why Dad ended up running a sushi restaurant. I feel I feel tears welling up. My eyes run hot. If he was willing to go that far, I could hardly refuse his request now, could I? I nod in agreement. So what's this boyfriend of yours like? I tell you, he's not my boyfriend. But if you want to know what he's like, well, he's kind of like me, I guess. He gets up early to practice like crazy. He's really focused on his goals. He's really a lot like me. And you already said he's your boyfriend. You ain't even run out on a date. You only seen him twice. Only thing he's seen was your booty cheeks. And now he's your boy. Ops is a good love someone. You should go. Ops is good love someone. You should go for this. Huh? Oh, just throwing your granddaughter at, at, at me and you don't know. I'm gonna lost the words. I never thought I'd hear Grandpa actually encourage me to pursue romance. Remember that I've always told you, power has to be pairing of sword and shield. I'm not like I always had a knack for fighting. I beat up a lot of bullies when I was growing up. Even then, I wanted to be a good shinobi. It's what felt right for me. So one day, Grandpa said to me, Your strict is a mere sword, and a sword is meaningless if not join it with a shield. I didn't have a clue what he meant. I got that sword. I got that a sword was powerful, but a shield? Even all my time in Hazel Cannon so far, I still haven't really figured it out. Love can be difficult for Shinobi, certainly. But the feeling of loving someone, I'm sure, would teach you the meaning of the sword and the shield. As he says this, he claps you in the back hard. I start coughing and he laughs in response. I finally get it. He wants me to know how Shinobi would think in this situation. Thanks, Grandpa. At my small expression, Grandpa, he nods deeply. In the end, I don't go to Suzuki's game. I also change the route and take the training in the morning so as not to run into him again. It reminds me of people today. People today, they do all these things, and I think a lot of people do all this gaming because they're scared of love. They're scared of it. Grandpa's words have made things clear to me. I'm not ready for love yet. Not yet. You scared? There's still a lot I want to do before I learn the strength born of the sword and the shield. Like maybe give us some gameplay. One morning, I finished my morning training and at a glance at the sports section of the paper. There I see a small article about Suzuki's success. As Layla wonders deeply sitting on my bed, she came in here to watch one mission to find out that she was being given a story that's been taking place over 18 years. Thank you, Layla, for sitting with me, for giving us a chance. He pitched a shutout game with 18 strikeouts. He even hit two home runs out of his five times at bat. He led his team to victory as a pitcher and batter. He bent his, he bent his team sword and shield all rolled into one. Good luck to you, Suzuki. I smiled softly and gently closed the paper. Here we go, gameplay, people. It only took 18 minutes to get here. It's another warm day today. Mmm, nice and quiet. Oh, look at that yo-yo. That's a big yo-yo. <laughs> that that yo-yo fill up a whole hand. <laughs> That's a big yo-yo. Anyway. Good God. What'd you do that for? What'd you do that for? It looks like you did that on purpose. You gonna ask her if she hurt? Now she's gonna run away. In the root of poo. Oscar, you should you should have got her. You got raw. <laughs> you just got raw.
Maybe she's one of the Grunt Mountain Thieves. 500 yen only. Get it back, girl. Get it. Get it back. Get your get, get your stuff back. You gonna let a you gonna let a girl just rob you? Get back to the chase after the female thief, and we're gonna go frantic. Yeah. We'll be sure to find it in kind of outfit this type of, this type of day. Here we go. And now we're slicing and dicing. We're getting that sword. So later we finally got some gameplay, and they're gonna corner her. Oscar, get out of that corner. Here she comes. Oh, look how fast she is. She's fast in the field. Like you can get those daggers over it. You can get those daggers at antthegamer.com. Actually, I'm lying. I just want you to go to antigamer.com. Okay. Rice balls. What? Rice balls? Have you ever ate a rice ball before? So next time you go to the Chinese place, why don't you ask your mom to get you a rice ball? And who knows? Maybe you only get them in uh, the sushi place. I don't know. Uh, uh. Bam, 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 bam. Is she fast like... Who wants it? Where do I go now? I go down here. Oscar. Get your money back. Uh oh, the playground. She's just sitting by the slide like, what up? Oh god, it's one of those big ones. Lily, you didn't watch the first video, but those those new ones, those are new right there. I almost died, man. You see my health. Give me these rice balls. It's funny, they eat balls to get their health back. <laughs> what, Layla? Wow. So but I succeeded. I mean, like, you went through 20 minutes for two minutes of gameplay. And Dom, stop looking at her boobs. You were looking at her boobs. Guys, Sir Kugara Burst Renewal comes out this week. Oh no, the little thief got away. Now you got no money and no clothes. So you go, Jugs. <laughs> Thanks, I guess. Huh? Uh, where, where's the wallet? I, 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 don't, I don't see it. You know they do that all the time on these games, especially these Japanese uh, games that have like visual things like this. A lot of times they don't show you things, they want you to just use your imagination. <laughs> Dom is looking at your jokes. Actually, that's what <laughs> that's in your reaction. And who are you? I'm Homura, the jug watcher from another school. A little something to say thanks like what? Nah, she good. She's so good. You just spin it. So what's the point? I'm doing all that to get it back. Get you just it. Come on. I guess it's her money, I guess. She's gone. Yep, yeah, I'm her. You're gonna probably meet her again, I'm sure. Yes, yes, you can tell she's a ninja too. A shinobi. Yes, you just have to try harder. I only found two of the top secret files, which is kind of weird. I'm pretty sure I searched every nook and cranny. I got a grade of B star. Lots of reward money. And now I've learned the art of illusion. With the art of illusion, you become invincible during short dashes.
Top secret files of time. New pictures are at the shop. Okay. With that, I am going to do the next mission right after this, but I'm splitting the archives right now. Thank you guys for watching. ADG versus game. I'm going to give a big shout out to uh, Layla who gave this game a try. She wanted me to play Oregon and Blind Forest, but I had to play this game. So I asked her to hang out with me playing this game. So thank you so much. And, and oh uh, yeah, thank Diamond too. This guy's um, been working hard on the Nintendo Switch review of of Fair Fencer F. Um, I'll see you guys next show, next video. I'm out of here. Peace!